summertime dish that's sure to please the family at the dinner table tonight. Chef Nicole's going to show us how to make a dish with spaghetti squash. Hey everyone, welcome back to Taste of the Ozarks. We've got a fun twist on a caprese today and we're gonna use spaghetti squash to make it an absolutely delicious meal and it's kind of healthy as well. So this one comes together really quick and we'll go ahead and get started. We'll start by talking about our spaghetti squash here. Now with our spaghetti squash, we took these, we cut them in half and scooped out all the seeds and then just brushed them with a little olive oil and salt and pepper. And really you just wanna get your spaghetti squash to the point where with a fork you can gently pull the, the squash away from the skin here. And we're gonna do that with all of our squash halves. This does not take very long to do at all. It's about 30 minutes or so in the oven. And just once it starts to get golden brown around the outside and nice and tender and pulls away, you'll, you'll know it's done. Now, if you wanted to cook your squash the day before, just so that it didn't take you as much time the day of, you could absolutely do that. You wanna make sure that it's cooled enough that you can work with it to pull the meat out of it. We're gonna put that all in our bowl here. We've already scraped the spaghetti squash meat out of our other shells. And now we're gonna start working on the remainder of the filling. So I've got an heirloom tomato here. It doesn't have to be an heirloom, but you do wanna make sure it's something that's got a little bit more flavor. So if you wanna use um, some of those, those really good flavorful grape or cherry tomatoes that you can get at the grocery store, you can do those as well. Again, we just wanna make sure that the, that tomato flavor comes through. If you don't want to use fresh tomato, you could use canned tomato in this if you want. I really prefer the flavor of the fresh tomatoes and then also the texture. They're gonna be a little bit firmer than those canned tomatoes are. So we're gonna just take this and cut it into some diced pieces, large diced pieces. You wanna be able to definitely get that mouthfeel and that flavor into every bite. But you also wanna be able to get some squash on your fork as well, so don't make them too big. And then once we've got these all chopped up here, we're gonna go ahead and put that in the bowl with our pulled squash. The wonderful thing about spaghetti squash is you can pair it with just about anything. It's got such a mild flavor and texture to it. The next thing we're gonna do is use just a little bit of basil pesto in here. You can make yours um, homemade if you want to or just use whatever your favorite brand of store-bought pesto is. And then the last thing we're gonna put in here is some baby pearled mozzarella into this. If you don't have the baby stuff, you can chop the bigger stuff into bite-sized pieces as well. It really won't make much of a difference in your recipe. And we're just gonna toss all of this around so that we get all of those flavors intermixed into here. If you're not a big pesto fan, you could certainly use marinara sauce in this if you wanted to. Or if you wanna go even more simple, just a little bit of olive oil, salt, pepper, and basil in this will do really well. Or oregano, really whatever Italian type seasonings you wanted to put in here. And once we've got this all combined, we are gonna scoop these back into our shells here so that we can put this back into the oven and get this meat all warmed through and start to get the mozzarella nice and melty. Some of your shells may crack a little bit when you're cutting them in half, and honestly, that's perfectly fine. You just need something to hold the majority of the squash and the fillings in here. Fill this last one, and then we're gonna put this back in about a 350 to a 375 degree oven until it is nice and hot all the way through and the cheese starts to get good and melty. At this point, if you wanted to put some shredded Parmesan cheese on the top, you could. We'll get this into the oven and we'll pull over our finished squash here. You can see our cheese has started to get nice and melty. Our tomatoes have started to soften up quite a bit. The meat's all warmed through. The pesto is in through all of the flavors in there. This is an absolutely wonderful, super quick dinner. If you wanted to add a little meat to it, you could too. If you wanted to just do a meatless meal, you could do that. Delicious. Actually pretty healthy, super quick dinner. Give it a try and we'll see you guys next time on Taste of the Ozarks.